couple of weeks ago, I did a screencast uh, talking about some of the unique features of Tropo uh, to work uh, as a real-time application. Right, so basically, a platform that you can build real-time applications with. And I used Redis, which is a NoSQL database, Node.js, and jQuery to basically let a telephone call control a web browser. So you could call a telephone number or send it a text message or even send an instant message to a Tropo app. And you could control the color, uh, the background color of a web page. It, it demonstrated one of the really unique features of Tropo, and that is uh, the ability within a telephone application that's executing in the Tropo environment to open up a persistent socket connection and write information to that socket and then use that information downstream to control things. And in this case, it was the color of a web page. Um, one of the neat things about this ability that Tropo has is that you can actually reverse the direction of it. So not only can Tropo write to a persistent socket connection during the execution of a telephone application, but it can also read from it. So what I'm going to show you now is a, a reversal of that um, conversation that I demonstrated in my previous uh, screencast and blog post. I'm going to use the exact same uh, technology stack that I used before. And what I'm going to do is I have a, a an HTML and uh, JavaScript web page just using jQuery. And I'm going to use the, um, uh, the very nice uh, Socket.io module for Node.js. And I'm going to make Node.js a publisher on a specific Redis channel. And in this case, I'll use an instance of Redis to go because it's easy and it's out in the cloud. And what I'll do is I'll take information from my web page and I'll just submit it to this Node.js script. Node.js will publish it on a Redis channel. And Tropo, in this case, will be a subscriber to that channel. Tropo will sit there and listen. And the information that comes in on this socket connection that I've got to my Redis instance, I will use it uh, and just say it using Tropo's um, TTS capabilities. So let's briefly take a look at the code behind this. Uh, it is embarrassingly simple because all of this is quite easy to do with uh, tools like Node.js, Redis, and Tropo. So this is the web page that is um, part of this uh, very modest application, modest but powerful. And as you can see, um, I'm, I'm using Socket.io. Uh, I'm going to run it on, uh, run my Node.js script on port 9000. So I, I obtain the Socket.io JavaScript library there. And I'm just very simply making a connection. And what I'm going to do, I have a very simple web form. And when a user types text into this web form and clicks the submit button, what I will do is I will grab the value of that text field and I will send that um, to my, uh, my Node.js instance um, where Socket.io is running. And then I will use that um, and uh, publish it on a Redis channel. So let's look at the actual Node.js script. It's, it's extremely simple. It's less than 40 lines of code. Uh, and that's probably, I'm probably being a little verbose here. Uh, but as you can see, all Node.js does is wait for a message from a client and it will create a, a new Redis client using a, a really, really handy um, Redis module um, for, for Node.js. Uh, very, very powerful, very handy. And it will simply publish a uh, whatever it gets from the client, which in this case is the web page that I just showed you, on this tropo.speech channel. And that's it. That's all it does. My Tropo app is, is equally modest in terms of code. I've got uh, all of my um, Redis connectivity and functionality um, encapsulated in a, a small class. But the, the, the meat of it is here. We, we, uh, uh, we answer the phone. Uh, we make a connection to, uh, to a Redis instance, which, again, in this case, is just a Redis to-go instance. And we listen. We listen on this socket that we open up. And when we get some information, we use the Tropo say method uh, to say it. In this case, I'm using PHP, just like I did in the last example. It, it really doesn't matter what technology you use. Tropo supports a, a wide range of different scripting languages. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show the ease with which you can um, piece together these disparate pieces of technology with, uh, um, with Node.js and, and Redis. Uh, when, the, when you initially make a connection to Redis, uh, we get back a, a, an integer as part of the response. I'm keying on that. I'm just, I'll tell the user that I'm ready to speak. Uh, you'll hear it, hear it shortly when we test it out. But the, the, all the code for this will be on GitHub, and you'll be able to uh, extend it and modify it. Um, and as you'll see when you look at it, it is, it is extremely modest because all of the components we are leveraging are, are very powerful. So let's go over to um, my uh, Tropo application settings. This is the actual app settings for Tropo. And the PHP script that I just showed you is, is running inside of uh, Tropo's uh, scripting environment in the cloud. And I've got a Skype number set up, and I also have, uh, I think this is a Portland, Portland, Oregon number. 
let's launch our Node.js script. And we are now accepting connections. So what I will do is um, I'm going to run the, the HTML portion of this just on my local Apache instance. And I'm just going to refresh. And I have a connection now. My Node.js script will tell me that I've got a new client connection. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of the, uh, the free Skype number that Tropo gives me. And I'm going to uh, call my application. Welcome to the Retis and Socket IO speech test. I am ready to speak. So what I'll do now is I will input text in my web page that's just running on localhost, and we'll make Tropo say something. This is a string of text. I can make Tropo say anything that I want to. Um, it will wait around and listen on that socket until I've given it something to say. I love Node.js and Redis. No SQL for the win. So the other nice thing about this um, uh, arrangement that I've got here is that uh, I can have multiple subscribers to this Redis channel. So what I'll do now is I'll actually call in from my cell phone, and we should hear the same thing uh, that I'm hearing through my Skype client. Now I am talking to more than one phone. Now I am talking to more than one phone. You can see every client that's listening on this Redis channel will get anything I send to my Node.js script. We all hearing this. <laughs> that makes more sense. We are all hearing this. Uh, so that's essentially it. Um, what I wanted to show was that... Uh, just close this down here. Goodbye. Thanks for listening. So I just signed off all of my clients, basically. So um, what I wanted to demonstrate was the real power of uh, Tropo to act as a, as a real-time application platform. Because Tropo can write to and, and, and read from persistent sockets during the ex execution of a script uh, that is a phone application, it presents all sorts of really powerful uh, options or application developers, uh, things that you can't do with other platforms. So not only does the, uh, uh, the, the, the ability to um, interact with the Tropo script go uh, right to left, or excuse me, left to right as it did in my first screencast, but it also goes the other way. You can use Tropo not only to control your web browser, but you can also use your web browser to control a running, executing phone call on Tropo.